let's make a heart-shaped pillow. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany Hansen. Thank you so much for joining me today. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make this velvet heart-shaped pillow. It's super simple, easy to follow, and I can't wait to show you how to make it. If at any point in this video you do like what you see, please push that thumbs up button. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel and click the bell, that way you get notified whenever I release a brand new video. I try to release a brand new video every single Friday, covering a wide range of different types of crochet projects, and you're not gonna wanna miss out. The pattern for this velvet heart-shaped pillow will be located in the description section and the comment section below. All you have to do is click on that link, print off the pattern, and be ready to crochet with me. Once you have the pattern, let's go ahead and dive right into what materials you're going to need to make this velvet heart-shaped pillow. The materials that you're going to need to make your velvet heart pillow will include velvet yarn. Here I have Bernat Baby Velvet, but you can use any brand that you want to in order to make this pillow. You also don't have to use velvet. You can just substitute for any size, four weight, medium, worsted, or Aran sized yarn. You'll want a crochet hook size I9 or 5.5 millimeter crochet hook, a yarn needle, tapestry needle, a pair of scissors, and some polyfill or some kind of stuffed animal stuffing that we can put inside of the pillow to give it shape. Once you've gathered all of your materials, let's head straight to actually making your velvet heart pillow. We begin making the velvet heart pillow by starting on these round sections at the top of the heart. So these round sections are worked in rounds. I am actually going to start with the chain two method. If you would like to start with a magic ring, you absolutely can. I am also going to use my beginning part section of my yarn as my row marker. If you would like to use stitch markers, row markers for this pillow, I highly recommend that you have something to help you out. I'm just going to use my beginning tail as my row marker to help guide me. So I'm going to create my slip knot, insert my crochet hook, and I'm ready to go. We begin by chaining two or starting with your magic ring. One, two. For round one, we're going to make six single crochets inside of the first chain, or you'll make six single crochets inside of your magic ring. One, two, three, four, five, six. Great. So what you will do now is if you're using stitch markers, row markers, I would place that marker in that sixth stitch right here. I am going to take my tail, I'm going to yarn over the tail, pull that tail through the loop, and that indicates to me that I've just finished round one. For round two, we're going to make two single crochets in each stitch all the way around. That is also known as a single crochet increase in each stitch all the way around. You will end round two with 12 single crochets. One, two, three, four, Five, six, twelve. Perfect. Go ahead and move that row marker to the twelfth stitch right there. I'm going to take my marker tail, yarn over, pull that marker tail through the loop, and reinsert my crochet hook. And that tells me that I have finished round two. Now, if you are noticing that the yarn, the velvet yarn is fuzzy, it has a lot of texture in there, and it can be slightly difficult to see stitches at times, but that's why I love the velvet yarn so much. If you make a mistake, it's very difficult to see that mistake, very difficult to find that mistake. So that makes it pretty beginner friendly in that regard that you can make a mistake and be okay. Just make sure that you stay on count. 
So if you can't see a stitch in here, but you know that you need 12 single crochets before you finish this round, just make sure that you manage to get 12 single crochets in this round before you close and you're, and you're fine. You'll be okay. All right, so we are now set up for round three. For round three, the pattern is two single crochet in the first stitch and then one single crochet in the next stitch. And then repeat, two single crochet, one, two single crochet, one. Repeat this pattern all the way around for round three. You will end round three with 18 single crochets. Here we go. One, two, and then one. One, two, one. One, two, one. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Great. Move that row marker to the last stitch. I'm going to pull my marker tail through the last loop there. And we have finished round three and ready for round four. For round four, the repeat pattern is two single crochet in the first stitch and then one single crochet in the next two stitches. So the repeat pattern will go two single crochet, one, one, two single crochet, one, one. You're gonna repeat this pattern all the way around for round four, ending round four with a grand total of 24 single crochets. Here we go. One, two, one, 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 two, one, 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 two, one, one. 21, 22, and 23, 24. Great, move that row marker. We're ready for round five. For round five, the repeat pattern will be two single crochet in the first stitch and then one single crochet in the next three stitches. So two, then one, one, one. Two, one, one, one. Repeat this pattern all the way around for round five and you will end round five with a grand total of 30 single crochets. Here we go. One, two, one, 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 two, one, 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 twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, and thirty. Great. Move that row marker. For round six, the repeating pattern will be two single crochet in the first stitch and one single crochet in the next four stitches. So it will go two single crochet, one, 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 two single crochet, one, 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 one. Repeat this pattern all the way around for round six. You will end round six with 36 single crochets. One, two, one, 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 one. One, two, one, 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 thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty four, thirty five, and thirty six. Great. Move that row marker. For round seven, the repeat pattern will be two single crochet in the first stitch and then one single crochet in the next five stitches. And then repeat, two single crochet in the one stitch 
and then one single crochet in the next five stitches. You will repeat this pattern all the way around for round seven, ending with 42 single crochets. Here we go. One, two, and then one single crochet in the next five. One, two, three, four, five. And then two single crochet in the same stitch. One, two, and then one single crochet in the next five stitches. One, two, 40, 41, 42. Great. Move that row marker. For round eight, the repeat pattern will be two single crochet in the first stitch and then one single crochet in the next six stitches. Repeat that pattern all the way around for round eight. You will end round eight with 48 single crochets. One, two, and then one single crochet in the next six. One, two, six, 47, 48. Great, move that row marker. Okay, for round nine, our repeat pattern will be two single crochet in the first stitch and then one single crochet in the next seven stitches. Repeat this pattern all the way around for round nine. You will end round nine with 54 single crochets. One, two, and then one single crochet in the next seven stitches. One, two, 52, 53, and 54. Great, move that row marker. For round 10, our repeat pattern will be two single crochet in the first stitch and one single crochet in the next eight stitches. Repeat that pattern all the way around for round 10, ending with 60 single crochets. One, two, and then one in the next eight stitches. One, two, 59, 60. Great. Okay, moving that row marker tail or your row marker. For round 11, the repeat pattern will be two single crochet in the first stitch and then one single crochet in the next nine stitches. Repeat that pattern all the way around for round 11, ending with 66 single crochets. One, two, one, two, three, 63, 60, Four, 65 and 66. Great, move that row marker. For round 12, the repeat pattern will be two single crochet in the first stitch and one single crochet in the next 10 stitches. This is our last increase row. Repeat this pattern all the way around for round 12. You will end round 12 with 72 single crochets. One, two, and then one single crochet in the next 10 stitches. One, two, three, 70, 71, 72. Great, move that row marker. For round 13 through round 17, all you are going to be doing is making one single crochet in every stitch all the way around your round. Every single stitch will only get one single crochet. You should end round 13, round 14, 15, 16, and round 17 with 72 single crochets in each round. Go ahead and finish this section and I will meet you at the end of round 17 to show you what we do next. Coming on the end of round 17 and boom moving my stitch marker row marker just finished round 17 here's what I want you to do I want you to make a big loop remove your crochet hook grab your scissors 
cut a pretty long tail. Think in between 10, 12, make it a long tail. Air on long. And then we're just going to set this off to the side for a second. Uh, this is what you're supposed to be looking at. So it will have started to kind of round a little bit, but this, this is what you're supposed to be looking at, hopefully in your own project. We're gonna set that off to the side. And now we're going to repeat that entire process making a second one of these. So if you have the pattern out, just follow the pattern. If you would like to rewatch step or round one through round 17 back in the video, just rewind, watch it back. It's the exact same process. Finish up the second one of these and I will meet up with you when you're done with that one to show you what we do next in this, this process. All right, I will see you very, very soon. Okay, great. Once you have finished round 17 of your second top bump, here's what you're going to do. Grab the first bump and I'm finding my loop. Okay, with your crochet hook still on the same loop of the bump that you just finished working, we're going to insert our crochet hook into the loop left over from the first little bump here and tighten that up and kind of bud them together so they're close to each other. Take your crochet hook, insert your crochet hook into the very first stitch of the very first bump that we have made. Here is the yarn that is attached to your skein. Going to take that yarn, yarn over with our crochet hook, pull that yarn through that first stitch. You have three loops on your crochet hook. Yarn over again and pull that yarn through all three loops. And what that does is it attaches the two loops together. And now we are off and working on our 18th row. So row 18 or round 18, you're going to make one single crochet in the next 53 stitches, including this stitch would make 54 stitches. Okay, so if that's one, two, three, keep going until you get to number 54. Four, 51, 52, 53, 54. Okay, pause. You should be leaving 18 stitches alone. So counting those to make sure there's 18. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. Perfect. We want to leave those 18 stitches alone. Now come over to the other bump. We want to count 18 stitches from the join here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Perfect. We want to leave those 18 stitches alone as well. They'll be in the center of our heart. So taking your crochet hook, and I'm trying to keep my spot here, tightening that up for tension. That was stitch 18. So I'm gonna to go to stitch 19, insert my crochet hook into that 19th stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through both loops and continue on. So if that is stitch number one, we're going to do one single crochet in the next 53 stitches for a total of 54 stitches. And we're gonna stop right here where everything was joined together. Go ahead and keep single crocheting. So this would be two, three, you 50, should end. 51, 52, 53, and 54. Perfect. All right, so we're gonna pause for a second. I am going to move my stitch marker. So if you have a stitch marker, I would move it right here to the very last stitch. Pull that through to help me out. Grab your yarn needle or tapestry needle and that really long cut of yarn that you made with the first bump. Thread that needle, perfect. 
All right, so the middle of this heart, how it's open in the middle here, there should be 18 stitches on one side and 18 stitches on the other side, meaning these should align perfectly stitch to stitch. We're gonna take this yarn right here and we're going to sew every one of those stitches together. I'm gonna take my yarn and I'm gonna go over, take my needle and go through the two stitches. And then over and through the next two stitches and continue all the way down this inside to sew them together. Great, once you've made it to the other side, then I will just start going back in this direction over my previous stitches until I've run out of most of my thread. Great, and I feel like I have enough yarn left over here to just make my knot. I'll hold a little bit of yarn back, reinsert my needle to grab a little bit of yarn here Pull through most of the way, holding some back. I'm gonna twist this to form an X shape. Take my needle, go underneath, and pull through for a slip knot. And that is secure. Then I can literally just take my yarn off of the needle and I can leave it on the inside because I'm just gonna fill this whole inside section with stuffing polyfill anyway. And I can get back to working on my heart. For round 19 and round 20, you're going to make one single crochet in every stitch all the way around this bump, all the way around this bump, and you will end here at the join. So for now, to the end of the project, each round will be around both of these bumps. So 19 through 20, you're making one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. You should end both round 19 and round 20 with 108 single crochets. You are doing a fantastic job. Keep up the great work. Great. For round 21, you're going to single crochet in the first 25 stitches. Then you'll do a decrease single crochet, decrease single crochet, one single crochet in the next 50 stitches, decrease single crochet, decrease single crochet, and then one single crochet in the next 25 stitches. You will end round 21 with 104 single crochets. All right, so here we go. We begin with one single crochet in the first 25 stitches. One, two, three, 24, 25. Then decrease single crochet. We're gonna insert our crochet hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, insert our crochet hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, You'll have three loops on your crochet hook, yarn over, pull through all three loops. That is a single crochet decrease. Let's do that one more time. Insert our crochet hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through. Insert our crochet hook into the following stitch, yarn over, pull through. Three loops on our crochet hook, yarn over, pull through all three loops. So decrease single crochet, decrease single crochet, two in a row. Next, we're going to single crochet in the next 50 stitches. One, two, 49, 50, great. Now we're going to do a decrease single crochet. There's one and another decrease single crochet. And there's two, perfect. Now we single crochet in the very last 25 stitches to close round 21. Here we go. One, two, three, 24 and 25. Great, okay, move your row marker 
perfect. We're now on round 22. For round 22, we will start by putting one single crochet in the first 24 stitches. Then we'll do a decrease single crochet, decrease single crochet, one single crochet in the next 48 stitches, decrease single crochet, decrease single crochet, and end with one single crochet in the last 24 stitches. You should end round 22 with 100 single crochets. Here we go. We're gonna put one single crochet in the first 24 stitches. One, two, 23, 24. Great, now we're going to make a decrease single crochet. One, another decrease single crochet. Two, Next, we're going to make one single crochet in the next 48 stitches. One, two, three, 47, 48, and then two decrease single crochets. One, two, and then one single crochet in the last 24 stitches. One, two, three, three, and 24. Great, okay, move your row marker. And we are ready for round 23. Great, so at this point, you should probably start recognizing a pattern of what we're doing with each round. This is the top part of your heart, your two top parts. What we're working on now is the bottom point of our heart. So each round will continue these decreases. So for round 23, we're going to start with one single crochet in the next 23 stitches. Then you'll do two decrease single crochets. In the middle here, we will have one single crochet in the next 46 stitches, and then two decrease single crochets, ending with one single crochet in the last 23 stitches. You will end round 23 with 96 single crochets. One, two, three, 22, and 23. Great, moving our stitch marker row marker. Perfect. For round 24, we will begin with one single crochet in the first 22 stitches, then do two decrease single crochets, one single crochet in the next 44 stitches, then two decrease single crochets, and then one single crochet in the last 22 stitches to finish off round 24. You should end round 24 with 92 single crochets. Here we go. One, two, 21, 22. Moving the row marker, perfect. For round 25, we will make one single crochet in the first 21 stitches, then do two decrease single crochets, then one single crochet in the next 42 stitches, then two decrease single crochets, and ending with one single crochet in the last 21 stitches. You should end round 25 with 88 single crochets. Here we go. One, two, three, 20 and 21, great. Okay, moving that round marker, there we are. Okay, we are now on round 26. For round 26, we're making one single crochet in the first 20 stitches, then two decrease single crochets, one single crochet in the next 40 stitches, two decrease single crochets, and one single crochet in the last 20 stitches. You should end round 26 with 84 single crochets. One, two, 19, 20. Great, moving that stitch row marker, round marker, perfect. Okay, we are now on round 27. For round 27, we're gonna make one single crochet in the first 19 stitches. Then we're gonna do two decrease single crochets here inside. One single crochet in the next 38 stitches. 
two decreased single crochets on this side, and then one single crochet in the last 19 stitches. You will end round 27 with 80 single crochets. Let's do this thing. One, two, 18, 19. Perfect, moving that round marker, row marker. Perfect, we are ready for round 28. For round 28, we're gonna make one single crochet in the first 18 stitches, then make two decrease single crochet, one single crochet in the next 36 stitches, two decrease single crochet, and one single crochet in the last 18 stitches. You should end round 28 with 76 single crochet. All right, guys, here we go. One single crochet, first 18 stitches. One, two, 17, 18. Great, moving that round marker. And we are now on to round 29. For round 29, you're gonna make one single crochet in the first 17 stitches, two decrease single crochets in the side, one single crochet in the next 34 stitches, two single crochet decreases in the side, and then end with 17 single crochets to close off round 29. You will end round 29 with 72 single crochets. Let's go, guys. One, two, three, 16, 17. Perfect, moving that round marker. We are now on to round 30. Round 30, you're going to single crochet in the first 16 stitches, two decrease single crochets in the side. Ooh, here's the sides. One single crochet in the next 32 stitches, two decrease single crochets here in the side. And you're going to end with 16 single crochets to finish off round 30. You will end round 30 with 68 single crochets. One, two, 15, 16. Moving that round marker. Guys, we are getting so close. Good, good job. Okay, so now we're on round 31. For round 31, you start with 15 single crochets, then your two decrease single crochets. In the middle here, you'll have 30 single crochets, then your two decrease single crochets, and ending with 15 single crochets. So you'll end round 31 with 64 single crochets. Keep up the fantastic work. You're doing great. Two, three. All right, I wanted to pause for a second. I am literally coming upon the very end of my skein that I was using to make this heart-shaped velvet pillow. So I need to attach a new skein and I wanted to show you my little trick here on how I attach a brand new skein of yarn. So here is the yarn that's attached to my project. Here is the brand new skein of yarn that I want to start using. I'll take these two and I'll butt them up against each other. Take two fingers, wrap these around two fingers. Little tail coming out right there. Take the little tail, go over the yarn between my fingers. So it's coming out towards my fingernails. Grab that little tail, remove my fingers. Pull tight for a knot. Then I'll follow the yarn to the other side. Take my two fingers, wrap these around my two fingers. Take the little tail, go over the yarn between the fingers. So that way it's coming out towards my fingernail. Grab the tail, remove my fingers, pull tight so that there is a knot on this end. Now there are two knots. Take this yarn, this yarn, pull the two strings so the knots come in together, and that forms a very strong, secure knot that isn't going anywhere. Grab your scissors, cut these tails off pretty close to the knot because that knot is not going anywhere. I use this knot all the time. It's called an invisible knot, and I just love using it, and I thought it would be great to give you a little intro on what that is in case you need to use it as well. And then you just continue working without skipping a beat. Can't even see it. It camouflages in with the project and you don't have to stop. You just keep going.
All right, continue on with round 31, and I will see you very soon to start round 32. 14, 15, great, moving that row marker, round marker. We are now on to round 32. For round 32, we are going to start with, so 14 single crochets, then the two decreased single crochets, 28 single crochets on this side, the two decreased single crochets, and ending with 14 single crochets. For round 32, you should have a total of 60 single crochets. And we're off. Here we go. One, two, 13, 14. Moving the stitch row marker. Perfect. Okay, we are now on round 33. Round 33, we start with 13 single crochets, two decrease single crochets on the side, 26 single crochets on this side, two decrease single crochets, and then we end with 13 single crochets. You have a total of 56 single crochets for round 33. Here we go. One, two, 12, 13, moving the stitch row marker. Awesome. Okay, so for round 34, you will have one single crochet in the first 12 stitches. We're getting smaller here. Then two single crochet decreases, one single crochet in the next 24 stitches, then two single crochet decreases, and one single crochet in the last 12 stitches. You will end round 34 with 52 single crochets. Awesome. So close. You're doing great. Two, three, Seven. 12. You know what to do. <laughs> awesome. Round 35, one single crochet, first 11 stitches, two decrease single crochets in the corner, one single crochet in the next 22 stitches, two single crochet decreases in the next corner, ending with one single crochet in the last 11 stitches. You will end round 35 with 48 single crochets. One, two, ten, eleven. Great. So we move the round marker, row marker, and at this point, this is the point right between round 35, right before I start round 36. This is where I start to add the stuffing to my heart shaped pillow. Okay, so once your stuffing is starting to really come close to where your stitches are, that's where I will pause and continue working more rounds to grow the, the actual pillow itself. So we are now at round 36. For round 36, we will make one single crochet in the first 10 stitches, then two single crochet decreases in the side, one single crochet in the next 20 stitches, two single crochet decreases in this side, ending with one single crochet in the last 10 stitches. You should end round 36 with 44 single crochet. Here we go. One, two, three, nine, 10, great. Moving that row marker. For round 37, you're going to make one single crochet in the first nine stitches, two single crochet decreases in the corner, one single crochet in the next 18 stitches, two single crochet decreases in this corner, and ending with nine single crochets to close off round 37. You will end round 37 with 40 single crochets. One, two, eight, nine. Great. All right, we are on to round 38. Round 38, you're going to make one single crochet in the first eight stitches, two single crochet decreases, one single crochet in the next 16 stitches, two single crochet decreases, 
and ending with eight single crochets to finish off round 38. You will end round 38 with 36 single crochets. And we're off. Here we go. One, two, seven, eight. Awesome. Moving row marker. We are on to round 39. Round 39, one single crochet in the first seven stitches, two single crochet decreases, one single crochet in the next 14 stitches, two single crochet decreases, and then one single crochet in the last seven stitches. You will end round 39 with a total of 32 single crochets. One, two, six, seven row marker boom all right round 40 we're going to start with six single crochet two single crochet decreases 12 single crochets two single crochet decreases and end with six single crochets to close off round 40 you will end round 40 with 28 single crochets wow we are almost done one two so close three five Six, moving the row marker. Perfect, we are on round 41. Round 41, you're going to start with five single crochets, two single crochet decreases, 10 single crochets, two single crochet decreases, and ending with five single crochets. You'll end round 41 with 24 single crochets. One, two, four, five, Moving row marker tail. Perfect, my row marker tail's getting quite tiny over here. All right, we are on to round 42. For round 42, we're gonna start with four single crochets, then two single crochet decreases, eight single crochets along the side, two single crochet decreases, and end with four single crochets to close off round 42. We will end round 42 with 20 single crochets. We are so close. One, two, three, four. Okay, I know that we haven't stuffed in a little while. If you wanted to stuff before I did or instructed you to, you're fine to go ahead and keep stuffing. I'm gonna go one more round and then I will start filler stuffing to accommodate for all this extra room we have just made. For round 43, you will single crochet in the first three stitches. Two, Decrease single crochets on the side. One single crochet in the next six stitches. Two single crochet decreases on the side. And then end with three single crochets to close off round 43. We will end round 43 with 16 single crochets. So let me go ahead and move my little itty bitty row marker tail that I have over here. Boom. Okay. Here I go. One two, two, three. All right, so I just finished round 43. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to resume stuffing my pillow and really molding and forming my pillow. All right, so I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop there. I'm going to do a couple more rows, and then I will finish my last little bit of stuffing here on the bottom. Okay, we are now on round 44. So for round 44, we will single crochet in the first two stitches, then make two decrease single crochet on the side, single crochet, one single crochet in the next four stitches, two single crochet decrease on the side and end with two single crochet to finish off this round. For round 44, we will end with 12 single crochet. Whew, we are almost done. So one, two, then I'm gonna make a decrease single crochet. Flip my pillow, decrease single crochet.
there we go one single crochet in the next four stitches one two three four okay and then decrease single crochet try not to get the stuffing decrease single crochet again perfect flipping the pillow again and one single crochet in the next two stitches one two great i'm not going to worry about this row marker anymore we're at the uh, very point here for round 45 we're going to make one single crochet then do the two single crochet decreases then make two single crochets then two single crochet decreases and end with one single crochet one and then jump right into a single crochet decrease flipping the pillow single crochet decrease perfect one single crochet in the next two stitches one two then single crochet decrease one one more single crochet decrease two flipping our pillow over again and one single crochet in that last stitch boom all right so we still have just the smallest little opening here what we're going to do is we're going to make this loop really big so we can remove our crochet hook and we're going to focus on molding our pillow do you have any spots that really need attention? What you can do is you can take your crochet hook, insert it into a stitch, and really kind of pull stuffing in a direction that you really want it to go to fill a hole or a spot location. Mold it, squeeze it. Once you feel that your pillow is exactly the way that you want it to look, that beautiful heart shape that we are that we are going for right now. Let's go ahead and close up this pillow. Last row is row 46. For row 46, we're gonna make four single crochet decreases. All right, so one single crochet decrease. Two single crochet decrease. three single crochet decrease and four single crochet decrease that is it so if you look at the bottom of your pillow and you still see a hole at the bottom of your pillow what I'm gonna have you do is cut your yarn yarn over pull that yarn all the way through and pull tight for a slip knot create a knot there and then there should only be four stitches left at the bottom here. I'm going to have you insert your crochet hook into stitch number one. Yarn over, pull that yarn through. Stitch number two, take your crochet hook from the inside out, grab that yarn, pull it through. I'm weaving the yarn in and out of the stitches. So here we go. Three and last stitch, four, then pull it tight like a drawstring and that seals the very bottom of the heart for you. Insert your crochet hook into any stitch that's relatively close to where that string is. Yarn over, pull that yarn through partially, just a little loop, yarn over, Pull that tail through for a slip knot. And then I'm going to take my crochet hook, insert it into any stitch really, come out next to the tail, yarn over and pull that tail into the pillow. There you go guys, there is your heart shaped pillow. 
All right, guys, that is how you make the velvet heart-shaped pillow. I hope you had so much fun making yours. Make it in multiple colors. Just have a lot of fun with this. If you had fun with this pillow, you might also really enjoy these videos right here. Also, check out this video, which is just a recommended video for you to watch. Thank you so much for spending time with me today, crocheting with me. I always love crocheting with you. I hope you have the best day, and I will see you with my next video. Bye, guys.